I thought I'd um, get into this issue. The New World Order. And how we can know or doubt it is what it is does the new world order exist well Bush has announced a new world order Barack Obama has pretty much announced a new world order Clinton, for those who have seen him say it, has announced a new world order. And if you translate the back of what's currently on the dollar bill, they may be changing the dollar bill, it says new world order. So, if any one of these works for you, you know that it's been stated, at least at least the term's been used, and people in their minds believe, or at least say, there's a new world order. So it's acknowledged, whether it's imaginary, um, in maybe Bush's mind, Clinton's mind, um, former Bush, the former Bush of that mind, I believe he said it, if you see him is saying that, ever. Um, Barack Obama has talked about a new order. Um, Tony Blair, Gordon Bar Brown. You can dig up those videos and look at that. All you got to do is open up your wallet. If you've got a dollar, flip it around on the back side and see it says Novus, I believe it was Novus Ordo Seclorum. Novus, no, new Ordo order you can look in, into foreign languages and see oh, ordo means it's pretty much related to their word for order too seclorum so there you've got the term but what to attribute to it you can um say well you can say you know basically <clears throat> if you go to a rough part of town you know that you know you may be treated roughly if you go to work um if you're honest, you know that people aren't always honest, therefore we have the word dishonest. If people were always honest, then dishonest would be theoretical and not practical. When you look at the serfs who were vassals of the king during the Middle Ages, in every country pretty much who worked for someone above them rather than for themselves or if you look at Russia and you know what people you know if who come from Russia or Cuba I've heard someone comment several people comment about having coming for having come having come from Cuba or Mexico you notice that um, the authority structures don't treat them well, always. And when we say that our, con our country is different, if you're from the United States, or even if you're from England or Canada or Australia, say, well, why are these countries different than the other countries in the world? Um... Or why would they be different? 
it's pretty obvious to me that they're not different. <clears throat> um, somebody from somebody I heard somebody from the Bronx grow, they grew up in the Bronx say when someone has nothing when when someone has nothing left to lose they lose it when they've lost everything and they have nothing left to lose they lose it people are going to be selfish i think whether it be a Christian philosophy or an atheist philosophy or any other philosophy, we like to deny that fact. It seems like something that, or at least people act, let me say people act badly. They're selfish, they act badly. It's something you have to acknowledge when you realize things are going on. If there's a bully on a playground, you know, has anybody experienced that? You got a bully on a playground, and you know he's bullying you or bullying some, your friend or bullying somebody else. Why does he do that? What does he gain from that? So when we look at the nature of man or the nature of human beings, we see this bullying aspect. Um. you've ever had an experience with the courts, you know that it's not their principal, you know, raison d'etre. It's not their purpose in being a judge or being a lawyer or being a police officer. This happens not among, among judges, lawyers, and police officers, unless they're an exception. It doesn't happen exclusively, but it happens among all of us. It only stands to reason that people will be bullies. Um, you could say they do it for some kind of kickback benefit, but but a bully will do it, you know, even if he doesn't get your lunch money. So, when you look at men like David Rockefeller Sr., or, you know, the handsome and dashing, long-haired David Rockefeller, I believe his, his son is Junior, Junior, or, there's our honest and trustworthy public servants. When you look at, at um, David Rockefeller Jr., or David Rockefeller Sr. Are they some kind of god or gods? Are they superior morally? We have the term spoiled brat. Um, meaning that Someone who has been given, who has, who has been given into too much, or given too much, or, or had too much, is also spoiled. So, when we see people. living cushy lives, does that mean they're particularly genteel, kind? Is that what money does to people? You know, if you can, you can think of people who have had money. So the question is, if, if these people, even if we're just, just ordinary people, like the Rockefellers, do have, you know, that have at least billions, um, the Queen of England, whom Barack Obama, Obama just saw, and Michelle Obama just saw. Um, they either have 
trillions or trillions or trillion or trillions or pretty much close to it. I think. Um, either something about like the Rockefeller family, one of the fa one of the families, the really rich people ha had just had all this money. Do you think they got it honestly? Trillions of dollars for their fa in their family, trillions. That's a little bit beyond rich.